space agencies around the world are in a panic. An unknown object is approaching the Earth. It's moving at an incredible speed. But scientists can't tell what it is. A comet? An asteroid? People are preparing for the end of the world and don't know what to expect. Suddenly, there's news. Towards our planet is flying. A penny? Is this a joke? Oh no, friends. In fact, a coin accelerated to the speed of light is quite capable of causing a real disaster. The speed of light in a vacuum is considered constant and is approximately 300,000 kilometers per second, or 186,000 miles per second. This is the upper limit of the speed at which ordinary matter and information can travel. Let's assume that someone managed to fire an ordinary one-penny coin to such speeds. So, the coin is approaching the Earth. The weight of the original projectile is only two and a half grams, or eight hundredths of an ounce. If we're lucky, the coin would only touch the planet in passing. That is, it would pass through the upper atmosphere and continue on. Since these layers are very thin and the size of the penny is very small, the coin wouldn't be able to seriously harm the atmosphere. Moreover, it's unlikely we would notice that anything had happened. The most you could see would be a short flash in the sky. But if the penny entered the atmosphere at a different angle and reached the stratosphere and troposphere, we would see a very different picture. The coin would move so fast that everything else relative to it would be almost stationary. And by everything, I mean literally everything, including even the air molecules through which it would pass. They usually oscillate in different directions at a speed of about a few hundred kilometers per hour, hundreds of miles per hour. But the coin would move through them at a speed of a billion kilometers per hour, or 620 million miles per hour. As a rule, air flows around everything that moves through it. You can easily feel it, even if you just wave your hand quickly enough. But the air molecules in front of the coin, flying at the speed of light, wouldn't have time to get out of its way. Therefore, the projectile, after crossing space, would hit them so hard that the atoms in the air molecules would touch the atoms on the surface of the coin. Each contact would cause the release of gamma radiation and scattered particles. These gamma rays and particles of molecules would fly in all directions and form a bubble. In addition, they would begin breaking up molecules in the air, ripping electrons from the nuclei and turning the air into an expanding sphere of incandescent plasma. All this would happen very quickly and imperceptibly to the human eye. Most likely, you would barely have time to blink. At this time, the layer of plasma and radiation in front of the coin would start pushing it back, stopping it. If the coin were a rocket, it could be compared to flying tail first without the engine running. But even if it broke into the atmosphere, the penny would be moving so fast that it couldn't be stopped. Even the tremendous force of a thermonuclear explosion would hardly slow it down. Instead, the explosion would only begin eating away at its surface, ripping off small pieces of coin that would fly in all directions. These pieces would also move so fast that when they hit the air molecules, they would start new cycles of plasma formation. And again, and again, and again. As a result, contact with the air would change the coin beyond recognition. Now it would be a cloud of plasma in the form of a bullet, mainly consisting of carbon, oxygen, zinc, hydrogen, and nitrogen. What was once a penny would now be ramming the air and causing more plasma to appear every moment. The former coin would be moving slightly slower than before, but its speed would still be close to the speed of light. And now the plasma cloud would finally touch the Earth's surface. X-ray, radiation and incredibly hot plasma would instantly diverge in all directions. It would be like a nuclear bomb exploding. 
The first thing you would see would be an incredibly bright light, much brighter than the sun. Most likely, it would blind you and disappear gradually within a few seconds. But this would only be the beginning. In the place where the coin hit the ground, a huge fireball would grow, which, rising, would turn into a mushroom cloud. Somewhere at this stage, any observer standing close enough to the scene of events would have already, in their mind, said goodbye to life. And they would be right. In a few seconds, the shockwave would reach them with a powerful roar. It would be so strong that it would be able to uproot and break trees, lift cars, and destroy houses. A coin weighing only two and a half grams, or eight hundredths of an ounce, accelerated to the speed of light, would hit the ground with incredible force. The amount of energy that would be released would be comparable to the explosion of a bomb with a capacity of 27 kilotons of TNT equivalent. For comparison, take the atomic bomb Little Boy. On the 6th of August 1945, it was dropped on Hiroshima. As a result, between 90 and 140,000 people were killed. That is, up to 39% of the entire population of the city. Hiroshima was almost level to the ground. At the same time, the energy of the Little Boy explosion was from 13 to 18 kilotons of TNT equivalent. That is, less than the energy that a penny would generate when it reached the speed of light. All concrete buildings within a radius of approximately 650 meters or 2,000 feet would be demolished or damaged beyond repair. Most likely, any person who happened to be nearby would die with a 100% probability. At a distance of 1 and 3 tenths of a kilometer or 8 tenths of a mile, more buildings would survive. But due to damage to communication lines, fires may break out inside them severe burns and injuries incompatible with life, and all because of one small coin. What if there were several such coins? Let's say someone accidentally spilled a piggy bank directly into a device that accelerates objects to the speed of light. It would be like the apocalypse. Depending on how many pennies hit the Earth, we could get both completely destroyed cities and annihilated states. In fact, we would get a bombardment comparable in power to a nuclear one. At best, it would end in general chaos and billions of dollars in economic damage. But there's a more frightening outcome. If the planet was bombarded with coins, some of them might fall not only on the territory of various cities. A penny could wake up the Yellowstone supervolcano. Over the past 18 million years or so, this hotspot has caused a series of violent eruptions. At least 12 of them were so powerful that they are classified as super eruptions. Yellowstone has been relatively quiet for a long time, but that could change at a moment's notice. A group of scientists led by Professor of Geology Patricia Gregg from the University of Illinois came to the conclusion that the eruption of the Yellowstone volcano could be triggered by a catastrophic earthquake or asteroid fall. Most likely, the power of the coin's explosion would be enough to open this chamber of magma. And then, the force of the blast wave would be so great that it would spread over 160 kilometers or 100 miles from the epicenter. It would be felt by every person on Earth. Buildings would begin to collapse, explosions and fires would start. At the same time, the ash from the eruption would enter the atmosphere and spread around the globe. This would prevent the sun's rays from entering the atmosphere and lead to a volcanic winter, which in turn would lead to famine. The number of victims as a result of such an eruption is difficult to even guess, but the count would reach at least hundreds of thousands of victims. Most likely, such an eruption could lead to the death of the entire human civilization. Fortunately, there are no pennies, euros, or any other money flying around space. But if, at some point in the future, you find yourself somewhere outside of our planet, be careful with coins. 
Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and give a thumbs up if you like the video. Also, click on the bell to avoid missing new releases.